Okay, if this last week, watching all these wildfires hasn't reminded you or urged you to pack a bag, a go bag, this is the time to do it. Let's bring in our Chris Kimura. Um, you know, we've been talking about go bags forever with earthquakes, but now these fires really bring it home. Yeah, I think it's time for a gut check and a total reassessment because there's some level of risk everywhere. And this fire outbreak is a reminder to reassess, yeah, everything the go bag, your escape routes, your home inventory. And I want to talk about something else that you should rethink your wildfire home insurance. Insurance experts are predicting many of the people whose houses are burning down this week, they will not have adequate insurance coverage to fully rebuild. We've seen this crushing under insurance deficit over and over tubs, camp, Kincaid. Most homeowner policies basically auto renew and largely do not keep pace with rising construction costs. Well, when that happens and a fire occurs, you can be caught tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars short of what it costs to rebuild. Now, here's the good news. You can take steps right now to prevent an under-insurance surprise. Amy Bach at United Policyholders in San Francisco helps people with insurance hassles. She says step one is grab a calculator. Step two, find your insurance policy. Pull it out and see how much your home is insured for. Do a little basic math. How much per square foot in insurance will you have? to make repairs or rebuilding. Is it 100? You're underinsured. Is it 200? You're still probably underinsured. Bach says $250 to $300 per square foot is the minimum. Some disaster survivors are finding it costs to rebuild after a wildfire. So please do the math, then talk to your insurance agent. And remember, a key point here is that the prices of homes that they're selling for in your neighborhood, that's very different from the prices builders will charge. Two very different numbers there that you and your agent have to factor in. Get written estimates if you must. Now, if your insurance agent doesn't want to sit down with you and work it out, we recommend you find a different agent who will. Raj, over to you. Oh, a lot of people will be getting on the phone now. Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you, Chris.